Uh, this is Wade Harvey. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, PHP tutorial part one installing the software. Uh, you can find over 700 programming training videos at idealprogrammer.com. Okay, what we're going to do today, we're going to use Google to find XAMPP, uh, which help you installs Apache and uh, MySQL on your computer very easily. Uh, we'll download the software, then we'll install it, and then we'll use Google to find Notepad and install that. And um, then we'll write a, a small Hello World application in PHP. Thanks. Okay, here we are at Google, and uh, we type in XAMPP. This is the easiest way to get a Apache and MySQL installed on your computer. Uh, it's a lot more difficult to install them separately so this software does everything for you so I highly recommend it we click on the search and then it's uh, from Apache for friends so here's the first uh, thing that comes up click on that and then you scroll down this is it you find if you're using Linux you use that I'm using Windows so I'll click on XAMPP for Windows and then come down click on XAMPP and I want to use the installer method there's several different methods but this is the easiest way then I'll save the file installer file I'll pause it while it does this because it's 33 meg okay the download completed so now I'll r run that file select English for me you can select what you need and then we're in the welcome wizard we click next this is where it's going to install it. I'll leave it at the default. Here I don't select any of these. This would have it uh, uh, install these so uh, it would run in the background. But I'm going to start it manually so I don't select this uh, any of them in the service uh, uh, section. And just leave the other ones. Create a desktop I icon and uh, start be able to start it from the start menu. Now we install. This will take a while. This is extracting all the files. So I'm going to pause it. Okay, that completed. Uh, one thing if you're running Skype, you want to turn that off uh, before you start Apache because uh, they both use port 80. Then you can turn Skype back on. Uh, for those people that are. Now I'm going to click finish. For those people that are listening on audio only, uh, Zamp is spelled X A M. PP, or you can look for Chief or Friends. Okay, so I finish the uh, download, and I'll click on Clean Up and close that down. This is your uh, XAMPP control panel. It allows you to start Apache, and uh, MySQL is already running for me. But so you just click on these to start them. I'm going to stop uh, MySQL and start Apache first. And click on MySQL. For some reason it's not showing. Okay, for some reason it's not showing Apache running, but it is running. I see it down here. So now I have uh, MySQL and Apache running. Minimize that. Then I'll go back to Google. Okay, I, I found the reason I couldn't get uh, Zan uh, Apache running. I had uh, 
internet I information service is running so I had to go into my control panel and um, go to administrative tools and uh, uh, services actually and stop that service and then when I uh, clicked on it had start here and I could click on start to get it running so now it's running so now we need to go to Google to download Notepad Uh, we're Google what uh, Notepad 2 is what we're trying to get. Uh, uh, it's a uh, notepad on steroids that helps you when you're writing PHP to color code uh, your s syntax as you write it. So I click on Google search. It's under Flows Freeware Notepad 2. And you just click on download Notepad 2. It downloads very quickly. It's already done, and then you just open it up, and there it is right there. Uh, close that, and so you just create a shortcut to that and put it on your desktop, and that ha gives you Notepad 2. Okay, now we have uh, Notepad 2 running, and I've created a file named hello.php. The extension is important because that tells it that it's a PHP file. And you type in HTML and in, in, uh, greater than or less than sign around it, and then you do H1 in bracket. I'm going to call them brackets, uh, but they're not brackets. Uh, and then you put half for the heading, and then uh, close it with a slash H1 within brackets. And you do a, a less than sign question PHP. And then you enter a variable called uh, dollar sign name. All the variables start with a dollar sign. And you put equal hello world within quotes. All the statements end in a semicolon. Then uh, the next uh, statement is echo uh, dollar sign name. That's your variable that will now have uh, hello world in it. Then to turn PHP off, you put uh, question mark uh, greater than sign and uh, you close uh, off your HTML tags with um, slash HTML and that's it and so you save this to the HT docs within uh, XAMPP uh, so let me go up here's XAMPP where XAMPP was saved on the C drive, or uh, yes, right on the C drive. So you go to inside XAMPP, HT Docs. What HT Docs is, that's your web server. And that, uh, so when you type localhost on in your browser, you will go to that uh, folder called HT Docs. So here I've done it. I've run it and uh, I type localhost uh, hello PHP and here are my results uh, exactly as expected. Thanks for watching.